हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक तो हम बात कर रहे हैं नेस्टेड पेलोड वैलिडेशन हाउ यू कैन पास सर्च पेजिनेशन फिल्टर ऑल दिस डिफरेंट एपीआई तो हमने ये वाला एग्जांपल देखा था हाउ यू कैन पास मल्टीपल आईडीज मल्टीपल टैग्स कॉमा सेपरेटेड हाउ यू कैन पास अ बुलियन फ्लैग हाउ यू कैन पास अ पेज लिमिट एंड ऑफसेट एज अ नंबर एंड हाउ यू आर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग दैट डेटा राइट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट अ सिंपल यू कैन से लिस्ट ए पी आई टास्क लिस्ट ए इसको हम चेंज करते हैं and i will be passing a filter criteria for this api so let's create a one list api instead of changing the current one we already have a search api i will create a list api i will just change it to the list it's also http get just convert this into the list and here we are also taking query parameter so here i can just do a simple filter query dto okay now I want to have some scenario, something like this, where I can do filter based on, uh, which we talked about in this example. So this is what I want to have. And how can we have this thing with the NestJS APIs? Think about it. Like filter, user ID. Let me just zoom it. I want to have this kind of a use case where I can pass filter user ID, UUID, filter org ID, UUID, filter name equal to this, some name, right? This kind of API, but this is not like directly supported. What you need to do, you need to create a custom decorator for it. So I will just first do it. It's like a swagger custom decorator and I can do this here in this. filter dto dot ts i will explain this what this dto is doing api query filter we need to apply at dto level at the controller level this kind of api convention is useful when you are building and filtering the data api query filter we already have and this is the dto which we wanted to create so is dto ko hum bol dete hain list task dto ठीक है list task dto we need to construct so here will be export class list dto again let's go back export class list dto and you can specify whatever the parameter you wanted to use in this so to, 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 let's say i want to just use name and description because my filter criteria is only based on name and description okay list task dto go to the controller list task dto import karna ye bas ye additional humne kiya yahan pe ek api query filter just to provide a customized behavior aur yahan pe query filter ke andar hum ye wala filter apply kar denge it will not be a straight forward query filter यहाँ पे ये वाला टाइप हमने जो डिसाइड किया लिस्ट टास्क डी टी ओ वट इज द डिफरेंस हियर जस्ट लाइट लेट्स ट्राई टू प्रिंट वाट इज द फिल्टर ऑब्जेक्ट तो ये हमने नई एपीआई बनाई है एंड वी वॉन्ट टू हैव दिस बिहेवियर लाइक दिस तो यहाँ पे हमारा एपीआई हो जाएगा नेम इक्वल टू दिस फिल्टर डिस्क्रिप्शन इक्वल टू दिस अब यहाँ पे आप कुछ भी अप्लाई कर सकते हो लाइक दिस इज द डी टी ओ राइट टास्क डी टी ओ यहाँ पे आप नेम maybe task id task id is equal to some uuid and the validation will be is uuid task id name let's see the controller uh, it looks like the list api right now if you see this even swagger is giving you this nice and clean interface of the filter object okay you can specify this filter object where name equal to this uuid equal to this let me just try this out name equal to this and this should be uuid now i need to get the uuid from uuid generator let's get some random uuid otherwise i will get a 400 right if i just try to pass the text inside of this and how this api you can see filter object filter name equal to this filter uid equal to this this is how the data is being passed 
and this is nothing but i mean this is url encoded task id must be uid what did i pass okay uh, small mistake here list task id this is the task id not name equal to should be task id in the lower case we load this thing write out okay paste one uuid So this is how it, this filter object looks like when i hit this this is how the url looks like if this url ko encode karoge to it is nothing but a filter bracket name equal to this filter bracket task id equal to this this is how it looks like if you are encode this this is nothing but it is saying filter name equal to the name and filter task id equal to this what a clean and nice way of doing the api right so this is how also you can build an api this is the like a filter criteria custom filter criteria okay where name equal to this or guide user id equal to this you can specify your criteria here and when we receive it in the console what are we getting we can also check that So here I'm already printing console.log filter. Am I getting it? Filter object. Yes, you can see that this DTO contains name equal to this and task ID equal to this. This is getting transformed automatically. So a couple of uh, these are the couple of things which I wanted to talk about when you want to build a smart search, filter, pagination based APIs. Then this is how you can add the validation using DTOs and you can pass the custom types, comma separated string, comma separated IDs. Uh, these are the filter scenarios. You can build the filter APIs like this. You can pass the Boolean flags and all in your filter APIs. So here we close karte how all these things can work together how you can do all the search sorting filtering pagination i mean there is no fixed convention of buildings these kind of apis but when you follow these kind of things you are actually working as a smart developer or you are implementing the front end developer bhi dekhega, okay this is how it needs to be done it will be easy for him to understand things okay so search uh, sorting filtering add karna api mein.